When I first found out that I was going to the Netherlands, I had no idea what their food was. Um, I found a bunch of Dutch snacks, both that I have had and have not had, um, out wandering the streets late at night. Check it out there, me buying some of the food I bought tonight. And it's in a clear glass window, it's lit. You put your change in the slot and then it allows you to unlock, open the door and you pull out the little plate of food. And it's always like one or two pieces of food. You, and it's always something you can eat with your hands um, and something fried. And the things I've had out of the food walls have been pretty delicious. Sometimes a little dry, but uh, pretty good. There's one thing I got out of the locker. It's in a styrofoam container where you'd like take home burgers. And I have no idea what's in there. So it, it could be the worst thing ever. It could be a burger. It could be nothing. It was two euros. And I'd also like to point out that the entire all this food together between two different places, everything cost, I'm guessing somewhere between uh, 10 and 15 euros. And this is way, way more food than anybody could ever need. All the food wall stuff um, was anywhere between, I guess it's one euro 50 cents, 1.5 euro if that's how, I don't know how to say that. 150 euros. Nine times out of 10, the number one side dish, side dish is always gonna be french fries. So as sort of like a palate cleanser for this video, I'm going to eat french fries. And they're typical french fries. Here's one here, you can see it. It's just a, just a french fry, you know man? In a big old slab of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. It's pretty good. It does not taste like um, whatever Heinz. Who makes mayonnaise? I'm going to get a beverage. Next thing I've had before. Next thing I have had before. According to Wikipedia, it's a Dutch-based, um, a Dutch meat-based snack, typically containing a mixture of beef or veal, minster chopped, beef broth, butter flour to thicken, parsley, salt, pepper, and it results in a thick roux. Whatever, so then they're all combined, rolled into a ball, about this big. See that, it looks like a little hush puppy. But these are uh, the thing I just described, rolled into a ball, and breaded and then deep fried. I got a mysterious sauce in my hand. Tastes like relish. Don't know where it came from. If anybody finds themselves in Eindhoven in the Netherlands, I got a lot of these tasty snacks um, at this fine establishment. And Resteria. Let's try a bitter ball. I've had these before. I don't think I've ever had them from this restaurant, but um, usually they serve with like a, a mustard or something kind of dipping sauce, but I'm not gonna dip in mayonnaise. So I'm just gonna eat them. They're still hot. Okay, let's see the inside. See that? It's like a gray, kind of gooey paste. Basically, if you think of it as like, it's like really thick gravy, shredded pieces of meat, and they're very, um, very tasty. It's got like a chicken patty, like a chicken patty, like meatloaf kind of taste to it. We're good. Um, I got six of these puppies, probably 250. They're very thick, but very good. They stick to your sides. So, there's that guy. Okay, this is called a crow cat. I'm gonna keep eating these while I read this. Crow cat, these are freaking good, man. Look at crow cat. K-R-O-K-E-T. After World War II, several suppliers started mass producing croquettes filled with beef. The croquette became popular as a fast food. Meat ragu covered in breadcrumbs, which is subsequently deep fried. Its success as a fast food garnered its reputation as a cheap dish of dubious quality. 350 million of these things are eaten in the Netherlands each year. Oh, excuse me, 75% of all Dutch people people eat them, resulting in 29 croquettes per person per year on average. 
but uh, this is what it looks like. It looks like a giant mozzarella stick. This, or fish stick. Yeah. And uh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Yep. Immediately recognize this is filled with the same stuff as the bitter bomb. Tastes pretty close. This shell is a lot thicker. I actually like this better. I would eat either of these. Actually, urban legends say you can eat them. You can eat them like, like this. And you're, you're supposed to eat them together. So that, that way you just get the full flavor. You have to eat them like this. A cup of bitter balls. Yeah, so crow cut's pretty good. Do a little palate cleanse with the fry. And mayonnaise. Oh, oh. Oh. So that's it from the, the fresh food from Resteria. Everything from here on out is going to be the food wall. Food from the food lockers. Uh, this is the one in the styrofoam. I don't know what it is. Um, it's leaking, so that's, that's cool. It smells good. I'm going to leave that one. Mmm, pretty good. Think of it. Okay. Now that's like that's like the guts of a pot pie. How the meat and the breading and everything is kinda and gravy is kinda congealed into like a goo. Like the the, the terrible pot pie that you have to microwave. That's what this is like. But it's good. And instead of being a flaky baked crust, it's in a deep fried crunchy crust. I've eaten these before. Hammered. These are called frikandellen. Okay, frikandell is a Dutch traditional snack. It's a minced meat hot dog, which the modern version has developed after the fifth time, yeah, whatever. So it's a sausage shaped meatball and it's deep fried. Uh, it's generally veal, I don't know. It's basically a meat log and they give you two at a time. These are what they look like. This is cold now, but when it's hot, um, it's, it's literally, it's got the texture, and feel the sausage. They look like breakfast sausage, but they look shriveled and weird because it's just a, basically a hot dog or like a meat sausage that they deep fried. Yo, see? These things are great. With like a crunchy crust on the outside because they just, and there's no breading. They just take the whole meat log and go right into the oil. I've had really good ones. These are dried out, but they look the same. This one looks like the other one, but no, it's not. I Googled it. It is called Viandel. Viandel. And I got out of the page because I'm an idiot. So this one's called Viandel, which according to this website is tasty spiced meat wrapped in a crispy crust. They really like their logs and their rods. This is uh, this basically looks like a hot dog. Um, batter fried. You can see that hot dog batter fried thing? Uh, crispy. This is good, man. That's really good. So it was like, like the freaking dough, but a little bit spicier. And um, yeah, they totally batter fried it. I'm like a corn dog without the sweetness, or stick. This one's good. Side note, really wish I got mustard. Okay, so this next one, I have no idea what it is. Um, be, just because I've seen two things on the menu and at places that look like this. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I don't know, about the diameter of a hockey puck and a little bit thinner. This looks uh, like a lot of the chicken patties that they use on their sandwiches. I didn't get one because they're just chicken patties. whoop you do But when I looked up on the menu at the place I ordered the fries and the fresh food, like the bitter ball and from that I ate first, I was just looking up random names, the stuff that I didn't recognize to Google and see if it was worth getting. And I Googled the word uh, Bami Shift or Bama Shift. B-A-M-I-S-C-H-I-J-F, Barmy Shife. It's a Dutch snack. 
consisting of a slice of bami. I don't know what bami is. Breaded and deep fried. It's a Dutch modification of a Chinese Indonesian noodle dish. The damn pictures look like people are biting this and they're filled with like ramen. I can't tell. So it's either chicken patty or it's noodles. Really, really hope it's noodles, so. It's noodles! Holy crap, man! Look at that. This is good. That was a great surprise. So picture like, like veggie, lo mein, made into a thing, breaded, deep fried. This is like, there you go, right there. Now it doesn't look totally like maggots. This is a deep fried noodle box. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm glad I got this one, not a chicken bag, because chicken bags are lame. Yeah. That's really good. And super, super cool. Okay. Now I really hope this last one doesn't suck. This is how they had it. That's it. The only the only hint was leakage. I have no idea what's in it. What? Okay, so it's got some kind of buns on it and sauce. This is what the hell? This is some kind of meat patty with mayonnaise and barbecue looking sauce. Almost dumped it. Let's see what that is? Whoa! God, that's like, that sauce tastes like it's got licorice in it. It's got that like weird anisette taste to it. I shouldn't even be deconstructing this. Okay, so this is some kind of meat patty covered in mayonnaise and sauce. And then there's a little bit of onions on here. This is some kind of S sandwich. God, there's so much sauce on here, like mayonnaise and crap. It's like sliding around. All right, let's do it. All right. All right, so the mayonnaise on it cuts the strength of the licorice barbecue sauce or whatever the hell that is. The, the meat patty is kind of like the crappy consistency of the crappy McRibs or like fake meat they give you, they give you in the lunchroom of school by itself. Tastes pretty good, just tastes super, super processed. Like, you know, like ground beef, when you bite into it, you can see like the, the grains and the strands of meat. Now this is just congealed, one solid piece. Tastes BD, I'm sure there's beef in it. It's definitely not from a cut of of meat that uh, you go after first, but the sauce is jumping off this freaking thing. Look at it. Yeah, this tastes like it's trying to be like a McRib sandwich. Yeah. Uh, the bitter bon and the the fresh croquet, the, the big one, uh, were my favorite, I think. And they're the ones, the only ones I finished out of all of them. They get my word from best taste. Just like a, I mean, if you like meat and gravy and deep fried, there you go. I also want to point out this is a Wednesday night. I feel like on busy bar nights, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that the food will get rotated out a lot more and it was, it's probably on par with some of the fresh stuff. Just, I really like the frikandel. They were just, it, like it was just a good, good sausage, like a sausage meat snack. It, uh, it was actually really close to like a breakfast sausage minus the sage. Um, I really like the uh, Viandelin. Shoot, man. What is it? Viandel? Ah, Viandel. This little guy. With basically a Frickendel, but just batter deep fried. Like, it, if I could call it anything, Dutch version of a corn dog. A lot of stick. But that was really good too. I think my favorite thing here, not directly related to taste, just the coolest thing, was the noodle thing. Um, the uh, Bami Shife. I mean, it, that was cool. It'd probably be really good with like teriyaki sauce or something, because it's like a ramen noodle um, breaded and deep fried into a little shape. It's very good. 
I didn't hate any of it. Least favorite, uh, by far, that sandwich burger thing. The sauce has just killed it for me. If there was less sauce, I probably would have just said, yeah, this is a cheap, crappy version of a hamburger with sauce. I didn't hate the sauce, it was just drown drowned in it. I get it, I'm bitching about something that cost me $2.50 out of a human-operated vending machine. Now, as I complain about it out loud, it sounds ridiculous. Put a food wall up, man. Throw some change in, or at least like a dollar in the thing. Uh, everything's getting credit card readers now. Do that, and let me take some food out of there. Let me eat some. Uh, let me eat some deep-fried meat logs. That's that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was insightful. Uh, for those of you wondering, these are Quay sunglasses. And if you go to Quay Australia Sunglasses, their website. Um, go to coupon codes at checkout and enter in the real Bill Rice uh, 17. Your order will be uh, hooked up with a grand zero percent off. Later.